hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's explore subtool in zbrush right now i've got this uh, subtool here in the tool section so let me just uh, go to the tools menu and then expand it here so we have uh, subtools uh, basically it's like you know any model you build here in zbrush is a, a z tool and uh, if you have to add multiple objects on top of it then you have to work in subtool workflow so subtool is like um, uh, different parts of your character <coughs> like right now this is the body so i can't make the parts of the body as a subtool but i can make the shirt the pant the belt the shoe and all that things as subtools here so how to add uh, different objects into subtool can be seen now in the video and uh, right now i've got subtool count 4 and uh, if i start uh, sliding the value here it will only show one subtool and i need to slide it and see the other subtools there and i can keep expanding the number of uh, objects that to be visible now here in the subtool and then you can use your slider to explore uh, the subtools so i'll switch that number to four back and uh, we have the uh, i button which can make the visibility of uh, the other subtools off and you can also make them on just by switching on the i icon here so we have uh, different uh, options here uh, below in the sub tool so the first one is the list uh, list is going to show all that uh, sub tools um, here you could able to see the shirt the vest backpack shoulder guard belt glove go goggles wristband knee guards and boots so you have all that in the alphabetical order uh, we we can use uh, a concept of folders here so i can create a new folder and then um, you can just name it as dress and uh, you can add objects into that uh, folder and then uh, remove the other things from there so folders can generally help you in accessing um, or organizing your complex scene uh, easier okay uh, so we have uh, um, the other options here uh, I can just uh, click on this gear button and then just uh, delete the folder can delete uh, the folder what we have created uh, we also have a few options like I'm selecting this uh, model here okay um, this model so whichever model I have selected that model is uh, sculptable the others are not you can't sculpt the models which are not in the selected sub tool so you can select the sub tool I can and you can move that sub tool uh, above or you can move that sub tool below you can use control up okay and up arrow key and control down arrow key to move that object uh, in in the arrangement of this uh, sub tool layer stack so uh, we have uh, this arrows where the selection can be uh, changed so right now i'm using i'm selecting the vest and now i can now select the backpack now i select the shirt so I can just use the arrow buttons here just to change the selection up and down okay so right now in the wristband I can select the knee guards which is below it or I can select the wristband which is above it just by pressing the arrow buttons so we also have a option like a, a rename okay uh, you can rename that particular object uh, like wristband is there um, you can name it uh, whatever you want let's say when you have added certain new object to it so naming does uh, make sense and it is important so you can do that so we have auto reorder which will uh, reorder uh, all these uh, sub tools based on the polygon count okay or the vertex count here uh, you can just click this button to make all the um, polygon I mean subdivision levels of all the sub tools to its lowest if you click this one uh, it will make the highest subdivision level uh, it will switch to the highest subdivision level for all the sub tools here uh, we can select uh, any particular uh, sub tool you can copy it and you can paste it that becomes a copy there uh, you can delete that uh, sub tool which you have selected uh, you have also duplicate which uh, you can select one and then just duplicate it it becomes a copy now the copy which we have got can be uh, moved on to the opposite side by just getting into the deformation menu and then click the mirror button this function cannot be applied to the mesh with subdivision levels so i go to the 
geometry here and delete lower or you can freeze it and then go to the mirror button and then that becomes a copy there so you duplicate it and then copy it this is how you do it here so i'm using uh, the append tool here so just click that and then append a model so you can select that model and then you can move it anywhere you wanted there and uh, it can be uh, you know modified into uh, uh, i mean you can use any sculpting tools and then you can modify accordingly okay so you can append any model so uh, we have one more option let's say i'm in the shoulder guard and then use append tool and then append a cone so that cone is added uh, completely below in the list here and then you can use uh, you can move it anywhere you wanted that model to be okay so we have another option here called insert this will also allow you to insert the objects but uh, make sure that let's say if you are selecting this uh, demo soldier and then if you insert a torus so the torus is exactly below the the demo soldier let's say i'm selecting the demo soldier and then append the torus the torus is going to be created in the bottom of the list here so that's the difference between the append and the insert tool and uh, you can select any of the sub tools and delete them like that which are basically of no use so you can select them and delete them okay very simple uh, let's say uh, you want to uh, you know uh, and there are the other options here like delete other let's say you have selected the glow and then say delete other except the glow everything in the sub tool list are deleted when you say delete all all sub tools are deleted there so you need to use them carefully when you are deleting because it may uh, you know lose the details so we have a split now what is split is let's say if i'm selecting the knee guard here these are two different uh, knee guards but they are in one sub one sub tool so you can generally um, split them split to similar parts uh, so they will be splitted into two different objects here let me choose split to parts now you should be able to see they are split into two different uh, uh, you know sub tools there so when we have a uh, uh, object in one you know one piece let's say i have uh, this uh, model which is of one piece um now we have an option called group split here so as uh, i've made the already sorry uh, already this model has the polygon group so poly poly groups just you can say groups split and uh, this will you know split uh, the whole model into different parts you should able to see the leg uh, is separate the hand is separate the head is separate the torso is separate so it's all you know um, separated with this button so uh, you have different types here uh, split to similar parts if um, you have selected a complex model and um, there are similar types of objects in it let's say um, i will select the head and uh, <coughs> i'll use a imm brush here and i want to select this one and also i'll go to the stroke and then choose the curve mode and uh, let me create that model the mesh is composed with uh, multiple subdivision level yeah now you should able to see i've got this um, and uh, i'm creating this and then i'm creating this so you should able to see we have different types of objects here and uh, this all objects are in one sub tool so when i say split to similar parts so whatever objects are similar uh, those objects uh, will be in one sub tool i should able to see that okay so as these all are same so they are in one sub tool now this is in another sub tool this is in another sub tool and this is in another sub tool so that is split to similar parts but when i say uh, let's say i'm selecting this when i say split to parts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it will split into you know uh, nine different sub tools there split unmasked points and split masked points so whenever you are masking certain things so when i say split masked points and that model is now separated okay uh, you can do that opposite split unmasked so this all unmasked becomes a separate sub tool so you can now separate models that way using this button uh, you have a merge option 
So let's say you are in uh, the hand sub tool and there is one more hand here. I'm going to move it a little bit up. Now, uh, this is one hand. This is another hand. So I'm going to select uh, the uh, hand and when I click this button called merge down, so it will merge with a, a layer which is exactly below it. So I can hit that and then it turns to in, in one um, sub tool. It becomes a one sub tool. Uh, when I say merge is similar, uh, it will auto fetch things and then uh, whatever objects are same, they are in uh, one sub tool. Let's see whether this happened here. So they, they didn't merge, but uh, let me select this one and uh, merge similar. And then you should be able to see they all are now merged. Now, if I switch off all the visibility of the layers and put only two layers visible, then merge visible button will work. So all the visible layers becomes one sub tool there. So when you're merging, uh, the weld should apply. So that's what it is about. And um, even the UV should be merged with the merging operation. So when UV is enabled, merge subtools also merge their UVs. And this is the welding of uh, the subtools when they are, you know, about very close to each other. Something like this one and uh, this one. Let's say these two are, are going to merge together. Okay, now when I say merge down, it is going to merge with the body and then it has to merge. Okay, the, the torso is missing and it should merge there. Okay, that's what this merge tool is about. Um, we have a boolean operation. So I'll be taking another scene here to discuss about the boolean. So I go to the new document and then um, take a sphere. Okay, press T on the keyboard and uh, make this as a polymesh uh, 3D. Then I'm appending a sphere. Okay, and I'm making this also polymesh uh, 3D. So this is a sphere. Append the polymesh cylinder. And I'm going to select the tool and then rotate it 90 degrees. And then scale it. Okay, just for convenience. So I'm going to select this model and then click this button. I've selected that button and I'm choosing this uh, subtraction. Okay. And uh, make sure that uh, you have enabled the live boolean button on, which can be done from render, uh, render booleans and live boolean. So you have uh, intersection, uh, union, and uh, you know subtraction. So you can choose that. Now, when you go down, uh, which is uh, here below the boolean, when you say make mesh boolean, it uh, applies that, and then you got this model which has been you know um, boolean like that. So it is useful when sculpting a complex uh, characters okay so that's a boolean for you uh, so uh, we also have a, a remesh option so when i just click this button uh, it will remesh all all sub tools uh, in the model and you should be able to see it has created a combined model which is uh, uh, which can be seen here and uh, this is uh, not affecting your previous model. Let me just uh, go to the sub tool again. Now I'm going to say remesh all, and then it's going to remesh all the uh, you know model here. And uh, let me just select that one, and you should be able to see it's one uh, single piece of object which has been uh, achieved here. Okay, so you have uh, all that uh, settings like you can polish and uh, increase the resolution and stuff you can do all that uh, with this button so you should be able to see you got this uh, model because of the polish value uh, lower so let's say if i uh, reduce the resolution to 32 and polish to maybe 3 and then you should be able to see you got this so um, it's all about uh, you know uh, how much amount of resolution you are taking now let me just uh, put the polish value of zero um, and then remesh it and you get this one so uh, polish value of one then remesh you get that one so you should be able to see that you're getting that ridges and it's slightly smooth not much so that is a remesh for you so i'm selecting that and then deleting those layers which i've created with the remesh and uh, while you're doing remesh, uh, okay, you can also enable X symmetry, Y symmetry, and Z symmetry there. Uh, we have a project option 
uh, I think we need a separate video for this but I'll just try to brief out what exactly this project will do I have done a lot of work uh, on the model uh, here and uh, this model is not having the topology the flow and I've done while I'm in you know concepting stage so let's say I brought a model which has been retopology but the high frequency details are missing so I can project the details from source object to the target object uh, make sure that the two layers are selected so it will project that uh, information so it project is all about that uh, we have extract so extract is a very uh, awesome tool let's say I'm masking this uh, scalp here okay and um, so let's say I want the hair uh, for this character so I'm just uh, applying extract here so that gives up this result and when I rotate it you may lose that extract detail uh, here so the extract thickness is 0 0.02 let me make it to 0 0.01 so it gives very thin uh, sheet 0 0.005 so it's way thin 0 0.001 and then it's way thinner okay so you can do that thing so 0 0.01 is the default what you saw and then we have a smooth uh, I'm increasing the smooth value and then you get that smooth result you should be able to see uh, determines how smooth the surface of the extracted mesh will be uh, we have a, a double which uh, uh, is going to give me the thickness button when I'm extracting when the double button is enabled ZBrush will extract with thickness being applied on both sides of the surface ignoring the positive and negative aspect of it then we have T corners and T borders where you will be seeing some triangles in that wherever corners are there to preserve this model but uh, how do you get the model here so once I've got uh, the extract I need to just say accept and that is where you get the model here uh, both the models has got the mask uh, masking so clear the uh, mask before you uh, start working and then uh, you can now um, start sculpting this model as per your uh, requirement there okay so it can be easily um, I mean it, it is sort of used uh, for you know creating dresses and costumes and all that stuff